Okay, eating is about more than just the food. It's about taking in culture. And at Street Food Asia, you get the chance to just kind of wander in different streets in various parts of Asia, picking up the dishes that are unique to each and every country. So, what is the concept behind Street <laughs> Food Market? Hmm, let's find out. We're so happy to introduce Anna, and it's actually Anna Margarita, right? It is Anna yeah, Margarita, nice. but Anna's great. It's great to have yeah. you with us today. Thank you. It's nice to be Welcome. here today. Thank you. I'm a fan of Street Food Asia. I'm a fan of the restaurant Knob Hill. The, uh, the food is just, I can't even, I can't even put it into words. I, I overeat, let's put it that way. Oh, oh, well I that's I can't good. stop myself. Yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't. I just have to cut in really quick. It smells delicious. It's Thank amazing. You. In here. Thank you. Yeah, Thank so you. So what is that concept? Answer this question for us. Well, the concept behind Street Food Market is going to be street food from around the world, not just mm. Asia. And also nice. bringing in that feeling, please excuse me, mm, of food, food in Latin America specifically. Wow. Um, because a lot of the food is very common to all of these places. Yes. Yeah. So okay. Sort of bringing that feeling of portability, ease, yummy food, yeah. but quick, easy, you can walk around with it or you can stay and hang out with friends, new and old. Isn't that nice? That's Great. I love that. Okay, so what are some of the items we can expect to see on the menu then? Well, one of the items you can see is what I'm making today. Um, some of the things that. are going to be carried over from Street Food Asia for sure. Mm -hmm. But some of the items will be what I'm doing today, which okay. is a torta, Argentina. And okay. a torta is, in Mexico, yes. a sandwich. Oh. And, and those are what, are, what are you cutting there? I'm cutting up sweet plantain or ripe plantain. Oh, plantain's my favorite thing. Oh, good. That's what I, when I lived in Florida, that's pretty much all I ate. I lived oh, on plantain. Florida. And I yeah. just want to make some clarification here. You know, I'm talking about the street food Asia I've been going to in Knob Hill, but we are talking today about the fact that there's going to be a brand new restaurant, correct? Yes. So We're, let's tell everybody where that's going to be and what's happening. It's going to be on 2300, um, I think the address is Harvard, 2300 Harvard. Okay. It's going to be on the corner of Harvard and Central. Nice, nice. And um, it's going to be a little street food Asia, mm -hmm. a little street food, everything else we can discover. <laughs> I love it. I can see the it. mood for I see it two. in her face. Yeah. She's so excited. I, I mean, it really. It's, okay, so plantains. So that, is this the way to make them? I've never really understood. You just have to buy a certain kind. It's obviously. Well, these are very ripe. Okay. So the skin is going to be darkened. Okay. Um, you want that. Oh. The greener ones, um, when they're very green, oh. you, you cook a different way typically oh. twice cook or boiled but this way they're sweet and this Yum. dish is a little bit sweet a little bit spicy a little bit sour a little bit of everything sort of like the restaurant a little bit of <laughs> everything exactly. although the restaurant's not sour it's just you have different spices and flavors <laughs> and, and I think that's the flavors. Nice. yeah exactly. that's how they color up. oh that's my gosh and, and now what kind of oil is that is that all boil or this one is an olive oil, okay. and it's perfectly fine to do it with canola, a little bit of butter, mm. All right. you know, whatever you might need. Okay. Um, and obviously you have that garlic finely chopped. I do. And those tomatoes look exceptionally good. Thank you. I love we tomatoes. love tomatoes. Oh, good. Yeah, Me love. too. Me too. So now, what, so now, as you put this whole dish together, what was the, the first step in preparation, I'm assuming, is that marinating the meat? The first step was the marination of okay. the meat, which you should do for at least a half hour. What mm. I used was a flank steak. You can use um, a skirt steak as well. Okay. Um, and we, we'll get to try this, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Huh. Oh, now we, we can breathe now easy. Now you can relax. Okay, good, good, right, good. Relax. Yeah, a um, flank steak, I think a flank steak is a great idea, especially if you're somebody who doesn't like too much fat. Exactly. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. And it holds up very well to marination, especially a marination like this one that mm -hmm. has vinegar, it has garlic, mm -hmm. uh, oregano, and uh, oil, and salt and pepper. Perfect. Wow. Perfect marination. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So what are you, you're, what are you grabbing here now? Well, what I'm grabbing is... What they do in Mexico is they use these bolos, these okay. round breads, okay. and then you take out a little bit of the bread ah. of the inside because it's supposed to be really full of okay. filling. That's awesome. good. I like yeah. that. You know, when, I, when I'm in New York, they always like all, everybody's always so worried about their weight. They scoop out their bagels, and I say, what's the point of scooping it out? But in this case, <laughs> it makes perfect sense. If you're going to fill it up. In this case, okay. more if you're going to give us a full sandwich, I say scoop away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm adding a little mayonnaise okay. to this dish. Okay. Um, because there are three things in every single one of the tortas that are required. Okay. And 
mayonnaise is one of them. All right. Avocado is the other. We have, a, we have about a minute or so, so we definitely know through the magic of television we do have a, an already prepared steak, yes? Yes, we do. So we'll bring that on out so that we, we can taste we're getting really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> This is incredible. Look at her. She's just hustling, wow. hustling. And mm, let's remind our viewers while she's doing that, let's remind them where they can find Street yes. Food Asia. Let's do that. There you go. Right there. 3422 Central Southeast. That's in Nob Hill. That's the current location. And the new one is opening. We're so excited about that. For more details, you can call 505-260-0088. And you can also go to that website on your screen for more information. Oh, my gosh. Things wow. are looking better and better in this <laughs> kitchen, Anna. Oh, my so goodness. Lettuce. You're just getting excited, Brian. I can't even hear you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that from Little people before. Steak. <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Oh, is I this one wait. of your favorites? <gasps> this oh. is chimichurri Chim sauce, okay. which is, is very favorite. common in steaks in uh, yeah. Argentina. A lot of Cuban restaurants and Argentine restaurants do that as well, I must exactly. say. Because that's where I used to eat it in Florida, and that is my favorite. And now add on. Oh, oh wow. it just keeps Please getting hand that, <laughs> hand that over to me. <laughs> <laughs> the ecstasy look on your face. We'll see you when we come back, guys. Stick around. You can get today's recipe by going to our website at pasta.com. We're eating. <laughs>